Hey guys, Cam here from Pocketlint and earlier this week Oppo released a new phone or at least unveiled a phone that looks like it could be one of the best flagship phones of the year so far. Could it be a true challenger in the market for 2020? Who knows, but we've got one here so let's dive into it. Now, as is customary for Oppo, the Find X2 Pro comes with a transparent case with the appropriate cutouts for the camera module ports and the Oppo logo on the back. And when you see the back of this model though, you might not want a case on it at all, but we'll get to that later. Now there's an ejector tool for the SIM tray designed similarly to the previous Oppo tools. And of course, the paperwork, which you can read or turn into a paper aeroplane or shred it into confetti or do whatever you want with it. Now we'll put the phone to one side for a second just to take a peek at what else comes in the box. Now one of the biggest physically and because of its importance is the SuperVOOC 2.0 charger. Now it uses Oppo's own proprietary fast charging tech to fill up the internal batteries really quickly. But again more on that later but just as important is the cable that comes in the box. Together with the charger, it helps dissipate the heat so the batteries in the phone stay cool while the battery charges super speedily. Then you also get a pair of earbuds with a Type-C connector. Now we're not sure how good they are, but they should be perfectly fine for everyday listening. Now the phone and that vegan leather on the back, as well as being a glorious shade of orange, feels fantastically inviting in the hand. It's warm and soft and subtly textured. Doesn't look bad either, does it? It contrasts with the polished gold accents in the frame nicely where you'll find the Type-C port alongside the speaker grille and SIM tray on the bottom edge. It has individual volume buttons on the left and the power button on the right, complete with that green line to denote that this is indeed the power and sleep button. Now the phone is big, there's no getting away from that, but it feels great in the hand and the metal accents and leather-like finish do make it very unique both in appearance and in texture. But there are other impressive hardware features as well. Starting with the triple camera, which features a 48 megapixel f-stop 1.7 primary camera and a 48 megapixel ultrawide, plus that 13 megapixel periscope-like zoom camera similar to the Reno 10x zoom. Now combined with the software, it can smoothly zoom between all these modes, all the way from ultrawide to regular to 10 times and even all the way up to 60 times without it ever feeling jumpy or not smooth. And then there's that epic Quad HD Plus AMOLED panel with 120Hz refresh rate, which is vibrant, sharp and has super smooth and fluid animations that look great from any angle. On first impressions, it looks quite frankly stunning. Now onto that battery and charging. It has a 4260mAh capacity made up of two singular batteries. And the charger we mentioned earlier is so quick it can fully charge the phone from 0 to 100 in 38 minutes, or at least according to Oppo. We plugged it in just to take it for an initial spin and it certainly seems to be really rapid. Now inside there's a Snapdragon 865 processor with support for 5G, 12GB of RAM and in this model a mammoth 512GB of storage but there's also a 256 gigabyte model. It runs Color OS 7, which is Oppo's latest version of software running on top of Android 10. And it feels zippy and fast with support for gesture control as well. So that's it. On first impressions, it certainly seems like it could be a really impressive device. Of course, we're not gonna know fully without testing it over a week or so, just how good this phone really is. So stay tuned to pocketlit.com where you'll find the full written review at some point in the near future. I've been Cam. If you want to see more of our videos, please do hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up if you liked it, and if you have any questions about the Find X2 Pro, do leave them in the comment section below. I'll see you again soon.